Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video from Ling Ling. Today is going to be a story time kind of video because I've had a little bit of a experience with the Chinese uh, online uh, dating uh, system and fun and stuff. So I thought why not share with you guys my awkward stories because you're my friends and I should tell you because then maybe you won't do the same as I did. I'm a very open-minded person and I'm really bad at saying no and sometimes I would wish I would just say no a little bit earlier because Ah, oh, well, it's not like anyone is being bad to me or like mean to me. It's not like that, but it's just sometimes I'm just like, Ling Ling, why are you wasting your time? Like, this is a waste of time. Anyways, guys, so the last few months, I, well, I'm still single. Well, <laughs> hooray. And uh, I've been playing a little bit around with this app called Tan Tan. And if you don't know what it is, well, it's very easy to explain because it's a, basically a full copy of Tinder and I've been playing a little bit with Tinder at home as well and it never really worked out. <laughs> it's basically a waste of time. And the same with Ten Ten. It's a way for people to find each other and hook up. Yeah, let's just be honest here. Uh, I thought, oh, maybe I can find somebody who is nice, you know, somebody wants to hang out and not only hook up, also hang out and like be friends and like more and stuff. Yeah, no. Aww. Waste of my time. I'm just gonna say before I get started that I got so annoyed with this app, so I actually deleted it now. So it's not a part. It's not on my phone anymore. Um, but yeah, I thought. Anyway, let's just get started on this. Oh my god, I'm talking so much. Okay, let's start. Let's start. Okay, so I'm gonna. I'm going to generalize in this video, so don't be angry with me. But if I look at my experience with these uh, Chinese guys. Um, what is very common is that they do not have any confidence when they're talking to foreign girls. Uh, I met one guy who was like, I do. And then I met another one who was like, I do a little bit. But most of the other guys, they don't want to meet. Like they only want to talk on WeChat. It's like, oh my God, they're so curious. They're asking like, how much do you wait? How tall are you? Have you been with Chinese people before? Chinese guys? Like, how is it to have sex with foreigners? And I'm like, <laughs> well, like, what do you want to know? Like, I'm a very open-minded person, and now if people ask me questions, I don't mind talking about these things. I know, I'm sorry, because I think before I've come across as, like, super, super, super cute and, like, very naive and silly, but I do have a very sarcastic and a very open-minded side of me as well, so um, talking about sex is not a taboo for me. Uh, so when the Chinese guys ask me questions, I usually answer right. Okay, so the first guy I met was like this super skinny guy who was not sure if he was big enough for me. He was kept asking like, do you like strong guys? Do you like big guys? And I was like, dude, I like you because I like your picture and I think you're kind of cool and we're talking, kind of want to meet you. And he kept saying like, oh, I'm really busy. I'm sorry. And then in the end, I was just like, whatever, I'm just going to delete him because it's a waste of time. Okay, so then the second one was like this really, really cute guy according to his pictures. I was like, oh my god, he looks really cute. So I started talking to him a little bit and asked him, so what's your hobbies or what are you doing when you're not working? And I know a lot of Chinese people don't have hobbies because they just have a lot of work and I totally get it. Like, it's cool, right? But this guy's like, Mm, when I was young, I really liked to play um, play around with magic, like as a magician, but then I started working and now I don't do anything. And I was like, so what do you do in the weekends when you're not working? He was like, I don't do anything. I just sleep. And I'm like, oh, okay, great. <laughs> and then the conversation kind of died. And um, I was like, but he still looks cute. And he, well, we talked a little bit and he was like concerned about me. And I was like, oh, that's cute. You know, let's meet. And he kept saying, oh my God, I'm so busy. I'm so busy this week. And then he didn't reply me. And if people don't reply me, I'm just like, screw you. So I deleted him. <laughs> <laughs> and then he was like, then he sent me a message again and like asked me to be friends again on WeChat. He was like, why did you delete me? And I was like, uh, dude, because you didn't answer me and I don't think you're interested. And he was like, yeah, I am. Like I live just around the corner. And I'm like, then how come we haven't met yet for Christ's sake? <laughs> yeah, so I did, like he's still on my WeChat, but I'm just like, it's not going to happen because he obviously doesn't have time. Uh, another thing is also that he's living with his parents and I try to accept it, but ugh, still, yeah, I think mm, it's, it's not a turn on. 
Okay, then uh, number three, guy number three, I had a match, we started talking a little bit, he added me on WeChat, and I was like, I looked through his pictures, I was like, whoa. So basically, I'm at this media university, right? So a lot of people around here, they're like, doing media, modeling, uh, acting, producing, directing, all these kinds of TV show uh, related stuff. And uh, this guy, he was a model. And I was like, whoa, okay. And the first thing I said to him was like, you're like super hot and I'm not. And he was like, oh, well, I said I'm like very common, <laughs> like very normal. And he was like, oh, it doesn't matter. And I was like, oh, cool, okay. So <laughs> I started talking to him and then, he was like, yeah, I want to practice some English. And I was like, great. Yeah, okay. So if I practice English with you, then you give me a free ride on your motorbike? And he was like, yeah, we can do that. And I was like, that's cool. Um, <laughs> but then I got tired of waiting and he never asked me out. And I was like, I'm tired of being the first one taking the first, uh, taking the step, the first step, the first step, the step, I don't know, to take the first step. You know what I mean. Um, so I just deleted him. So then there was the guy who had a few pictures of himself and I was like, oh, he looks really cute. And then I kept scrolling and then suddenly he had some pictures of naked girls. And I was like, what? He said he was a photographer, like this was on his WeChat. And I was like, what? Um, but we talked a little bit and he seemed very mature. And I thought, oh, he could be an interesting person just to meet right so he came on his little scooter and he was like the half size of me like both in like here wide and length do you say that you don't say that i don't know how to say that um and then he asked me all these really private questions um he was the one who uh very much wanted to know how it was to have sex with foreign guys and the differences between chinese and foreign guys in bed and i was like do you want examples or what is going on here? I don't really feel like sharing that. I said, well, there is a difference between the kissing, like foreign guys, Chinese guys, they kiss in a different way. But I didn't really want to go into details and I also didn't really know. I was just like, every person is different. Like you do different things with different people. I don't know. It was really random. And then when I said goodbye to him, like he didn't have any humor. So I was just like, you know, I made a joke and he was just like, I said, ha, and then ha, ha, ha. And then he was just like, Huh? Huh? What? <laughs> so yeah, that obviously didn't work out. Uh, I went back home and when he had arrived at home, he said, Oh, I just arrived now. And I was like, okay, Tadio, shi uh, chill, relax. <laughs> and then he was like, by the way, do you think that my penis size would, um, would satisfy you? Uh, and I was like, dude, what? Ah, ah. And I don't know why I didn't just say no. I should have just said no because then obviously he wouldn't text me again, right? But I was just like, I don't know, why are you asking? And he was like, luckily he realized that it was a bad question. So he was like, yeah, okay, I'm sorry. And I was like, yeah, thanks, you should be. <laughs> So that obviously didn't happen, that didn't work out either. And uh, then I met another guy who was like a party guy, who was like, whoa, let's go party together. And I was like, as a first date, really? And he was like, look at me. He sent me like five different pictures of himself modeling in different places around the world. And I was like, mm-hmm. And uh, <coughs> I, didn't, I don't like show off like that. Like you can show off with like travel, <laughs> but not just pictures of yourself modeling like, ah. <laughs> Um, he was like, do you like my legs? And I was like, what? I don't know. They look fine, I guess. They look like legs. <laughs> um, and then he was like, can I see yours? And I was like, why, why would you want to see my legs? <laughs> so I sent him a picture of my legs wearing these, the penguin pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, we haven't spoken since because I don't really party so I'm probably not gonna go on a date with a guy like that And uh, there was another guy as well who also he was actually the only one where I was like he was really cool uh, We met and he was straight out the bag as well like oh, I'm having so much fun. You're so cool Ha 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 laughing. I want to kiss you. Oh, that's great la 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 you know like really straightforward But fun like we really got each other. It was fun. It was fun um, walking around campus, having a little bit uh, to eat, like really, really great. Um, 
But then the next day he was like, sorry girl, I have to go on this shooting for like a month because he was producing TV series and he had just come back from another show and now he was going again and he was like, I have to go there for like a month and then I might come back, maybe we can just be friends and I was just like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah, no. So I just deleted him because I don't want I don't want feelings to suddenly come in and like screw it up. Anyways, so yeah, that's my uh, online dating experience for now here in China. I wouldn't say it's been very successful. I also asked my friends if they could set me up with somebody. Um, they introduced a few guys. One was an ex-husband of another girl and he was like, 12 years older than me and chubby and had two children at home and I was like yeah maybe we're not a great fit he also had anxiety so I was like yeah I'm sorry I don't know how to deal with that <laughs> um, and two other guys they were like do you want to get married and I was like I haven't even met you yet boy and then I said to him I don't think we should meet like I, I, I'm I'm not gonna be a good fit for you and he was like oh you're in such a rush like how come you say that now and I was like you just asked me if I wanted to marry and when and if I would stay in Beijing and if I would say yes to a Chinese guy like you're stressing me out here guy <laughs> boy <laughs> Yeah, anyways, this video was way too long. I'm really sorry guys, but I just had to share. Like this is just a chit chat video. I hope you I hope I didn't waste your time. Um Yeah. If you want to please help me subscribe and thumbs up for this video for all my really sad Chinese dating experience. Check out my cup. <laughs> <clears throat> And also, if you would like more people to watch this video, then please share it with your friends and help me write translations. Like, I really want to write them in Chinese, but I feel like my Chinese is not good enough for that. So, yeah, if you have the time, that would be awesome. And I love you guys. Yeah, I don't know why I'm being emotional now, but I do, I do. I really do. Thanks for all your support and all your comments. I always want to talk to you guys. Please don't bully me too much for this. Uh, this video but yeah hope you're having a great day evening wherever you're in the world and i'll see you again very very soon bing bing sad see you and sad bye 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 bye